Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monterey here in Mexico. Yesterday, yes, yesterday I filmed a video here using my Leica M6 with a 35mm Voigtländer Ultron. And I did some street photography here um, to start with here in the uh, city center. And later I met up with a local photographer, Pablo, and I will link him uh, in the video description. And we went up, to, you probably can see it up the hill over there. Um, it's a rougher area of the city, but from the far it looks very colorful, very nice. So that's why we went there and uh, we took a taxi because the taxi driver, he was from there. And uh, so because it's a little bit rougher there, um, Pablo said it might be a problem if we go show up there with uh, expensive camera gear. So yeah, in the end it was really nice. People were super friendly, we had a wonderful time and I think we uh, came up with some good images. And the film that I was shooting yesterday was this one here, Superior 400. I shot it at ISO 100. Um, this is probably my favorite from the more affordable film stocks, I would say. Hopefully this will be around for a long time. Um, you can't be sure these days with Fujifilm. Hopefully they won't discontinue this one as well, like uh, Pro 400H, which is a, a shame, but yeah. Oh, okay, right, guys, I would say without further ado, uh, Superior 400, Monterey, Leica M6, let's go! Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description box down below. Before I took that shot, I spotted a couple sitting on the stairs just a few meters further and I thought that they would make a good subject for the next frame. I don't know what was going on, but wouldn't you agree that the city feels rather empty? Where were all the people? Anyways, let me quickly give you my settings I used. I was shooting basically all of the shots between 1 to 50th and 1 500th of a second and I kept my aperture most of the time at around f8, which helps tremendously when using zone focusing. These two construction workers having a break asked me to take their photo and I did exactly what they asked me to do. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Gracias. <laughs>
looks like she was up for a fight or maybe not. Who knows? You mix it. Yeah. I, I tried to explain to Pablo what went through my head when I took the shot. I saw that hand in the background leaning against the wall and to some degree interacting with the running lady on the advertisement. Oh man, look at those. Finally, it was time to head over to Independencia and to go there, we had to cross that yellow bridge. A friend of Pablo's also joined us to explore the neighborhood. Yeah, 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 We weren't too lucky with the lighting and to save some time Pablo came up with the idea to get a taxi to drive us around. And also it was safer just because it was very obvious that we weren't from that place and the local taxi driver gave us sort of social proof if that makes sense. Okay. Oh my god. Right. 
Huh? HP5 in there. Oh no. So he was shooting black and white. <laughs> Dude, that can happen. <laughs> Yes, you've probably heard that right. Pablo was shooting black and white instead of color. He most likely hadn't touched his film camera for a while. He did this mistake and now it was time to do mine. For some reason I turned the recording off and now I don't have any footage for a couple of frames. After finishing the roll, we spent the last couple of minutes before the sun disappeared at that lovely viewpoint taking some portraits of each other with the Q2 monochrome. I also took a photo of our really nice taxi driver and Pablo later on sent him the shot and he was super heavy receiving this awesome photo of himself. Alright guys, that's it, at least for the shooting part of the episode, which was full of mistakes, at least two mistakes. Pablo shooting a black and white film instead of color and me stopping the recording without even noticing. But ha mistakes happen and in next week's episode um, there will be a massive mistake in the shooting part, but that mistake will lead to something very interesting. So <laughs> that was a very, very happy mistake and I'm glad that I made it, but more on that in the next episode next week. Also in this episode you can win a print. The only thing you need to do as always leave a comment below this video in the first 24 hours this episode goes live and I will pick a random winner and I will send whatever um, photo you pick from this episode as a print to you on really nice fine art paper and it will be shipped to you for free. Now before I show you my favorite prints from this episode a quick reminder, uh, if you are interested, I still have some of my street photography zines available. Um, the link will be in the description box down below. One is with images taken with a Hasselblad X-Pen. And this one here, 28, was shot in Egypt with my Leica M6. So in case you're interested, the link will be in the description box down below. All right, let's check out my favorite prints. All right, guys, here are my favorite images from this episode. And the first one is this one here. Um, there's a couple things I like about this scene here. It's, um, first of all, it's very minimalistic. There's a lot of space here with pretty much nothing. And what I like here is that the, the red lines are leading to this guy dressed in red. And there's also this door here or this entrance and it's black so you have no idea what's behind there so it's kind of a mystery so pretty quite happy with this one all right next shot is uh, this one here the two girls and i don't know what's going on if <laughs> she's uh proposing to her whatever i don't know uh but she's holding some um roses and i like her posture here it looks quite interesting the only thing I, w I wish that would be different is this person in the background. I wish that would this person wouldn't be there. Um, there's no way to get a different angle to get rid of the person. It's the person's just there, so I can't do anything about it. And um, yeah, but still, I'm quite happy with this one. All right, next one is <laughs> this one here. Um, and you might be able to see that in the background here, there's this uh, bridal shop, so you can uh, get dresses for weddings and stuff. So, and <laughs> almost this guy, when I saw this, it reminded me that this guy was almost wearing uh, a veil. So it, um, there's like the connection. I don't know if it's just me, but I, th I thought in that moment it was quite interesting. So yeah. All right. Um, uh, the next shot here. Uh, this one I like because, um, I don't know, I mean, this was up in the more rougher area of the city and where people were actually really nice. 
And what I like about this is uh, how everybody is spread out and I like the colors in the scene and the lighting is pretty good. And yeah, I mean, overall, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I'm I'm really happy with this one. And yeah, I think here the Superior 400 looks really good. Um, as I said before in the beginning of the video, it's one of my favorite film stocks for the more affordable ones. So yeah, and here it really shines, I would say. All right. Last but not least, here is my favorite image from the episode. Um, I don't really know why, but here the, I don't know, the composition, uh, the colors, the lighting, everything works together really nicely. Um, I like how the people are spread out and it almost seems like everybody is doing the, their own thing. Um, I mean, they are maybe related on she's doing something, he's watching her doing something, whatever it is. There's this person in the background walking, this guy is just sitting there chilling, maybe waiting, doing whatever, and he is uh, maybe he's getting out his phone or whatever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is my favorite image from the episode. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to tune in next week for a very interesting episode. And yeah, as always, if you like the episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.